Hello, Geminis. <clears throat> this is your daily for the 9th through the 10th for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. We have an Angel Prayers card here. It says, New Beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Okay. Let's see how this message ties into your daily. Let's see, guys. <clears throat> What's going on today? <clears throat> hmm. I get that um, a lot of you Geminis are... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Let me take a sip of something here. A lot of you guys <clears throat> were guarding yourselves, um, I feel, from someone. Um, you were unsure about this person before. <clears throat> Maybe this is somebody that you ended something with. Or either this is somebody new, okay? Um, it could go either way. But the bottom line is, you're really, I feel, are guarding your heart. <clears throat> but this person, I feel that you are very attracted to. Um, very attracted to. I feel like you guys have this, this connection whether you just met them or you've known them for a long time, there is like this instant connection or this instant feeling of attraction, this chemistry between the two of you. Okay. But I, I get that <clears throat> this person makes you happy. There's also something I feel that you have realized about this person. Okay. Maybe you're seeing them differently than you have seen them before. Okay, so I think this this is about either you guys starting over after after a breakup with someone new, or this is you guys starting over with someone that you have known before. And you're probably seeing them differently now. There's something that you've realized about this person that you feel is um, that you've been enlightened about that there was something that probably was um, <clears throat> something about them now that is different from either other people that you have involved yourself with or there's something new about this person that you didn't know before okay so this could be a new love new interest or this could be someone that you've known before okay Let's see <clears throat> why you are actually in this situation right now. Why you're here. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I feel that before you moved on from this person and you felt like you were you were going towards something that <clears throat> sorry for some reason there's something in my throat hang on guys sorry <clears throat> but i feel like you moved on from someone and you went towards something that you felt like was was going to be you know more fruitful for you more positive for you you were going towards things that that you wanted to do, okay? And I feel as though because this chariot, <clears throat> this is something that happened in the past because of this chariot, this lady is looking towards the past. So there's something that you left behind to go towards something else, okay? And I'm getting that because your head is turned from the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that you left behind somebody that you broke up with before that brought you happiness 
that brought you happiness at one point, but also at one point, they were the cause of your unhappiness. All right. And being in love with somebody, you know, there's ups and downs. So I get that. But um, I think now you're viewing this person in a different light. This fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, you're viewing them in a different light here. Okay. Because there's something that you've realized about this person and possibly that they are um, a source of happiness for you. Not the main source, but a source of happiness for you. Okay. But I think that you are feeling um, you're still like unsure if you want to approach them. And you're also thinking that, excuse me, that other people, they possibly have moved on. Or other people are taking notice of them um, or they're dating something like that but you're still like not you're still not you haven't actively um, solidly decided that you are wanting to go towards this person even though you feel like you know you could be happy with them I feel like you're still kind of struggling you're still kind of pulling yourself away from this Queen of Wands and this Ten of Cups okay Let's see. Yeah, I do feel like you want to start new with them. It's, it's, it's a struggle, though, because I get the feeling, too, that you guys probably have wanted to be single before. And that maybe is the root issue as well. You guys felt like, you know, you're better off on your own. And I see you're still being pulled with that, although you feel, you know, this, this happiness with this person. You know, that's where you're... Um, you know your source of happiness a source of happiness lies with them let's see <clears throat> your outside influences hmm i think that with this ace of wands okay this this is this is something that is being guided i feel guiding you guiding this other person um away from this heartbreak and starting over again okay really you know just realizing that both of you were probably hurt both of you probably hurt each other in this situation but there is a realization here there is a truth here that you guys share this ten of cups i feel and that you still love each other. There's a sun right there. There's the sun. That, that's the source of happiness. When you cut through all of this, this is your happiness right here. And I feel like you guys share this. So getting past this broken heart um, and just starting anew. Not really picking up where you left off, but just really starting anew here is um the influence here and i think you're feeling that i also like i said feel like you think that this person is starting over and you're feeling heartbroken about that if they're starting with someone new here let's see what the advice is for you guys now I feel like because this is a new beginning that is being suggested for you, a new beginning being suggested for you, what it is you're being pulled towards, your happiness, this fire energy, this ten of cups here. This is not doing anything at all, okay? This is like self-sacrificing, taking your hands off of the wheel, letting go of control, letting, letting things just play out however they play out, okay? But I feel like the advice here is to get out of this stasis mode, realize where your happiness lies here. It's time to start moving. It's time to start over. It's time to initiate something. Okay? 
my Gemini friends, that's what I have for you guys. Um, we have Pisces energy here, Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra. Um, does not have to be those signs, guys, but that's the energy that's present. Just um, look at the situation and take out of it what resonates with you. Bye now.